What is going on, my fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to level up the naturalist role pretty easily with a pretty simple method that actually takes me back all the way when we used to sort of glitch the game. And I have no idea what just happened at the time. I think a modder just joined the lobby because it was just okay. What the? It was daytime, and now it's nighttime. Someone just reset the time. You guys, you see that? It was 5 p.m. Now it's 5:30 a.m. Regardless, Red Dead Alliance still has its problems. Now, if you go over to Valentine, you will notice there's a bunch of sheep here. What's great about the these sheep is that you can actually sedate them all and not run into any problems. So we're gonna sedate all these bad boys. The last one is this one. Sedate all of them. Come on. There we go. Boom. Now they are all sedated. Upon doing so, you can then take all their samples. Now, what this will allow you to do is get a lot of XP pretty quickly on a various different amount of farmland animals. And uh, apparently, I just leveled up. So that's pretty awesome. Now, I believe you can carry a max of five samples of one kind of animal. So... I can easily just sample all these bad boys, just like this, and then I can also revive all of them for a little bit of extra XP. And that's just the beginning, because I have a whole rotation that you guys can do that will help you level this Nathless role as we are all in this together, because this is a grind. Last episode where I showed you guys how to do legendary animals, we talked about how this new Frontier Pursuit definitely takes time. It definitely requires you to really put in the hours to level up, especially if you don't have that nice Twitch Prime where you get 2,000 Nathless rolls roll XP. But overall, this is a super easy way to get some really nice XP in a very, very short amount of time. So I have four sheep right now. Let's just do one more. And for the sake of it, I'll do one extra. Which, what the heck? That one went down instantly. It might be, is it 10 samples? Oh my god, if it's 10 samples, then this is gonna be the best video you guys ever watched the Nationalist roll. Oh my god, it's 10 samples! Let's freaking go! Go get these sheep right now, because this is just the beginning. I have a whole- Oh, this is the best day ever! We're gonna level so fast! Eat my bullets, sheep! Eat my bullets! You too. You think you're safe? None of you are safe. I have to conserve my bullets, though. Oh shoot, which one was it? Okay, that one. And then one more. Come here, mother trucker. You think you're safe, you're not. All your friends are going to sleep. The best part is that the locals don't bother you. Like, even though you're shooting up the sheep, taking their samples, they know you're not killing them, so you won't get a wanted level. It's pretty great. I gotta say, I'm a pretty freaking smart guy when it comes to these sample stuff. Because these sheep are really easy to grab all these samples for. And as a whole, I think you can get one level each rotation if you revive and sample all of them. Plus, because you're sampling 10 of them, I think you also might get a stamp unlock, which I could be wrong about. Let me revive all these guys. Okay, more like let me uh, break my game because it just lagged there for a second. No idea what happened. Wake up, little sheepy. Now, as you guys saw, I had just leveled to level six. So we're going to see by the end of this what level we are. And I think we might have 10 already. We might have 10 samples. We do have 10 samples. Let's just revive all of them. And I'm actually all out of revival stuff. So this actually works out. So let me check this out. We have 10 samples from sheep. Now, there is another area here in Valentine that I will take you to that also can increase your overall progression towards the sheep or towards naturalist. We've gotten a area. And one thing I realized from Valentine to this Harriet, I made a drastic mistake you guys can actually avoid. Along the way here, I was thinking to myself, like, there has to be a Harriet that's These close to a fast travel point. Trip. And there actually is. It's the Lagrasse Harriet. She is so close to a fast travel point and will actually be your best point for this next part of this showcase. So once I get to her, I can then what sell the know? 10 sheep sample. I'll sell all of them to her for $11, which isn't creatures. a lot of money, so but I will get 570 the XP same. for the naturalist role, which is pretty freaking great. In theory, this is technically one legendary mission, but in doing so, you guys saw how easy this was. It took me less than five minutes to just down all the sheep and then pick them back up. One tip I have for you guys when you do this, I guess, quick, easy way is make sure you have max sedative rounds. You don't have max sedative rounds and you can't really maximize your output of sedating all the animals, especially when you go to this second location. The next point of interest that you guys should head over to is Emerald Ranch. You're probably wondering, why the heck do I want to go to Emerald Ranch? There's nothing there for me. Well, in reality, there's a lot of things here for you, especially if you're doing the Napsis roll, because there's so many farm animals. Now, now, if you guys didn't know, you can stamp farm animals. And as you guys can see here, there is a ton of cows. Now, normally, if there aren't any animals here, which you will run into this problem with some animal spawns in some lobbies, especially if modders were there, if you simply just leave the area and turn your camera away 
away from said area, the animals will naturally spawn. The reason why they didn't spawn is because no one was either in the area for the animals to spawn for, to save on memory for the server, or you just went to that area too quickly after arriving at the destination. So if you sit here for a little bit, just wait. Eventually, more and more cows will eventually spawn. So there's cows in this pen, and there's also uh, goats in the back there, as well as sheep. So you can literally do everything we just did in Valentine, and because we are here so early, we're going to start first on the sheep. So check this out. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. All right, cool. So I think that's about five of them right there. Easy. Now I can take 10 samples from these sheep because I sold my samples to Harriet earlier. And I believe that was five right there. So pretty nice, pretty nice. Now after shooting those bad boys, we'll go across the way right here. Shoot these guys. And then we'll also hop over this guy. Not the chicken, this guy little goat. See, that's the one thing the, the cows actually despawn. If they're not despawning, they're actually running away. So you have to decide, like, if you do come here, you might want to focus the cows first because they're the only ones that can leave. If you focus the sheep first, they don't leave. So up to you. Stop crying. You're going to be okay. Now, I could revive them all for additional XP, but right now we're just on a fast track course of showing you guys exactly what you can do here because after you do this area, it's not done. So what you can do is you can simply leave this area upon Upon doing so, for the most part, all these animals will despawn. And when you come back, the animals will respawn and you can do it all over again. Because we're just going to be heading up north, northwest a little bit to, I believe it's called Collier Farm or something. I forgot what it's called. But there's a farm up here that isn't very used, especially in online. It's right here, where cows also spawn. Upon going there, you have more cows to go ahead and add to your little, I guess, sample collection. So let's head up there. Along the way, if you run into any animals on your way to these said cows, make sure you stop to, like, hold. Holy jeez. Like these bison. Literally everything here. Just unload all, on all of this stuff. <gasps> unload on all of them. Give me the money. I'm here for the samples and you can't stop me. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. And just like that, we got our machine gun turret over here. Gimme, gimme. Nice little bison spawn area right here too. So there we had bison and we had, I believe they were like deer so easy 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 samples to collect in this area we'll grab these bad boys so this is a really great rotation for leveling an actress roll we have one more bison that sort of ran away ideally if you can do this with friends that's how you're gonna maximize the results here like just unload like all of you guys just unload on different animals and just put them down the more friends you do this with, the easier it will be. And make sure, one thing I failed to mention, make sure the quality of your of your weapon is clean. One thing I realized that I'm taking a lot more shots to take these guys down is because I haven't cleaned my gun. Let me go sample these guys. Sorry, I put away my TNT. It's You literally just machine gun down any animal you see and then sample them. And these are just hot spots for animals now that they fix the animals area, so... All the animal spawns have been fixerinoed. Yeah. Grab the bison over here. Thank you very much, sir. Which actually, I don't know for a fact, but I think I forgot to study them. I don't think I had studied bison before shooting them. So make sure before you do this, you are studying the animals that you have put down. And that noise, that little notification I keep getting is because I still have one bison that's down that I didn't sample. So it's going to keep making that noise, notifying me that it's still up or the fact that it's just gotten back up. Either way, these are just horses, right? Yeah. You don't want to be shooting horses. That's a waste. Oh my God. Look at all these deer. It's so like I could easily collect all these deer if I really, really wanted to. And dude, yes. Look at this. Great spot for cows. So at this location, you'll have cows study. Yes. The Devon bull. I needed this one. Nice. This is one of the ones I was missing. Or a cracker cow. Make sure if you can study them, you do. And it looks like I have everything here. So let's begin the rampage. Stop right there, cows. What you're doing is illegal. Oh, Betsy. I'm so sorry, Betsy. Betsy, I'm so sorry, Betsy, it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Tried escaping, but they didn't get too far. All right, take the sample of this bad boy. Now work my way back that way, because I think this is the, the order of the cows I put down. I could get more XP by reviving, but I, I think I've used all my revival tonics. And you could craft more revival tonics, like, along the way. So it's very possible, but I just haven't. But now that we've collected a good amount of samples, we're now going to go back to Emerald Ranch. And the reason why we're going back that direction is because the bison will respawn on the way back. And we also have the respawns of the sheep the cows in Emerald Ranch, and then we can fast travel from Emerald Ranch to our next location, which will ultimately let, get, like, net you, like, probably two levels. Here's the horses we saw earlier. We have some, we don't have any bison, but we have some does, some pronghorns. So we got two pronghorns there. We can go for a third one, I guess. Now we collect samples of all these 
these bad boys. Yeah, you can make revive tonics, which would be really, really helpful. Like I mentioned before, the best way to do this is with a posse. If you guys want to join the Outlaw Gary Discord, uh, link down below, and just join to have friends to do this with, you will level so fast with friends because it's then multiple people focusing on multiple different animals at the same time, and you guys all can take samples of the same animal. It's not like one sample each. Everybody can take samples of the animals at once, so it's pretty great. The amount of sheer animals now and online is insane. It's crazy what a great job they did. So like I mentioned before, all the animals have, it looks like, respawn. We've got some cows. We've got some bulls. So they always go for the door. If, they're, if they can escape, they will try to. And we'll down these two bulls, and then we'll also take out the goat. By the way, shooting them in the head, I believe, does work. Easier way to sample them. And I'm not 100% sure if this is the same sheep. It's not. These are all different sheep. The way I know that is because they're all either perfect or good uh, sheep, where the ones that I had shot earlier were poor quality sheep, so I can sample all these again too, which will then net me 10 sheep samples. Dude, we're probably gonna get two to three maybe levels out of this run, which is pretty great. So now after an Emerald Ranch, you wanna go to the Emerald Station, then fast travel all the way to La Lagras. Once doing so, you'll notice why. So back at Harriet, which is literally right around the corner from the fast travel point. Fast travel's here, she's here. It's literally the best spot to go. You can easily talk to her and sell everything you need to sell, so check this out. So right now, let me just see where we're at progression wise in the naturalist role so we we started like i said at level right at level five or six i believe it was so let's check this out benefits go to roles okay so right now we start off at level six the beginning we're now 50 percent way to level six let's sell all the things we got from you know kill, like sedating all these little dudes and see what we end up at. Sell all. So for the oh, four for does, we got 57 naturalist XP, which is, there's way more. There's no way. We had to have gotten way more. I think we got 57 each. There's no way. I'm going to sell them individually. Every Forget that. Like I got to make sure we're getting all the XP possible. I'm not sure if we get all the naturalist XP if we sell as a stack. I'm going to make sure we do because we just had so many. Each of these is 57 XP. So I think we easily had over 30. So that should be 1,500 XP. And I think we just leveled. I think we just leveled our naturalist XP. Yes, dudes, let's go. Oh my god. Progress. Rolls. Look at that, dude. We gained almost one level and a half by just doing this one. You guys saw it happen right here in the video. So if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Hopefully this helps you level your naturalist roll. Man, we did great. That was such a great rotation. So again, if you want to start at Valentine, then fast travel to Lagras to sell all the 10 sheep. From there, fast travel to Emerald Station. From Emerald Station, go to Emerald Ranch and go upwards towards the other farm. In between, you find bison and deer. Hunt all those. Go back down. Do the same thing. Thing, hunt the things along the way, go back to Emerald Ranch, hunt the things there again, and then fast travel Lagras, and then sell everything you got for upwards of almost two levels. So, coming in clutch, I'll have more videos like this here on the channel soon. Appreciate all the love and support on Outlaw Gary Lady. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video here on Outlaw Gary. Of course, click on the screen right now to go watch the next videos here or here. I appreciate the love. Get out of here because this video is ending. I'll see you guys later. Bye, dudes. Look here. What are you waiting for?